Alrighty, here's just a quick look at, uh, I got these the other day, they were the last pair they had in the store, uh, this is the uh, TF3 Crew Series by Hasbro, HDO 3D uh, Oakley Transformers Limited Edition, uh, Real D Certified 3D Glasses. Um, they come in this little shiny box with the Autobot Decepticon logo on it, um, really kind of cool, the HDO 3D Oakley stuff on the back. So I got the last pair in the local store, but uh, you can order them online or pick them up at Oakley stores or Sunglass Huts. They'll be available. And you open it up and you get the, the glasses in a little microfiber bag. It's got the Decepticons on one side, Autobots on the other. Um, and then just, this is just to make sure that uh, this is your warranty card. It will repair or replace it if it's broken. Uh, and then just basic... Uh, Warning, photosensitive epilepsy, uh, specifically designed for the viewing of 3D content. Don't use these as sunglasses, just a little warning sheet there. Um, and the glasses themselves, like I said, they come in this TF3 Crew Series bag with the designs on them. And, uh, and they're just a standard the, the Oakley's gas can frame. Uh, you can see it says Transformers on the inside of one earpiece and then TF3 Crew Series there on the other. And then each side has the little a little metallic circle, just like on the gas cans, the O. Um, and inside each one, if you get just the right... It's, it's kind of nice because they do, they, you don't really notice them from the front. But if you get, you get the right, just the right angle, you can see uh, on the right temple there's a red circle that has the Autobot logo in it. And uh, on the left, there's a blue circle with the Decepticon logo in it. And then just some random... Cybertronian and techie patterns on the frames themselves. Now, the, the website says these are polished black frames, uh, and they are, in fact, matte black frames, which is kind of nice for uh, watching in the movie theater. Um, I actually got these the other day and went and saw Green Lantern with them just to try them out as 3D glasses. Um, and, and as 3D glasses, uh, they are better than uh, your standard little... Uh, Buddy Holly pair of 3D glasses that the theater gives you. Uh, for one, like the, the lenses look a little smaller, but for one, the, the wraparound shape, uh, you don't have to worry about peeking out the side of the lens or uh, or anything like that. You do keep, uh, and, and the way they're they're polarized, uh, you never distort the 3D on the screen. I tilted my head, I, I moved it around, I turned to the side and looked out of the corner of my eye, and it kept the 3D images clear and focused, which is nice. Um, they don't dim the screen as much as the standard theater glasses, and the colors were a little bit truer to uh, natural colors with, with the uh, Oakleys versus the standard theater pair. Um, they, they, they're, they're, they don't make the 3D amazingly different. Um, they, don't, they don't make the picture sharper. Um, but overall, the, it was a generally uh, better viewing experience wearing the Oakleys than with the uh, the theater glasses. I kept swapping back and forth at several points during the movie uh, just to, ch to compare the two of them. Um, also, like I will usually end up leaving a 3D movie with with just a little bit of a headache. I've never had like a serious headache, but I, but I have gotten to a point where during a long 3D movie, um, I will leave with a little bit of a headache, and I didn't feel anything uh, like that wearing the Oakleys. Um, and I don't know if that was just a matter of it was a shorter movie than I'm used to seeing or, or what, but I, I didn't feel any sort of even impending headache uh, wearing the Oakley, so that's kind of a, a, a bonus there. Now, as purely 3D glasses, um, unless you see a lot of 3D movies, these are really probably not going to be something you're going to go out and spend 150 bucks on. Um, and like I said, unless you go see like every 3D movie like the week it comes out, they might be worth it. Um, but they really are a novelty or a luxury purchase. They're not something you just want to go out and buy just for the sake of having. Um, unless you're willing to spend the extra money and use them, uh, get some replacement lenses. And you can get some aftermarket lenses fairly cheaply. Uh, they won't be Oakley brand, but that will fit in these gas can frames. The curvature on the 3D lenses is a little different. Um, they're not exactly the same, but I have, in fact, swapped out some official Oakley bronze lenses in here several times today. I've done it four or five times without without any issues. Just take your time and be careful and you'll have a nice pair of sunglasses. So if you're looking for a new pair of sunglasses, they might be worth uh, investing in these as well. You've got some nice little Transformer themed 3D glasses uh, for yourself. Uh, the bag is nice. Um, comes with everything. So like I said, uh, maybe not worth a purchase unless you're looking for a nice pair of Oakleys anyway. Uh, and care to swap out some sunglass lenses as 3D glasses. If you've got the money and, and you want to, 
uh, sure, but but know that it is going to be more of a more of a luxury item purchase than a a must have. I wouldn't say it's a must have unless you're really watching a lot of 3D movies. They don't work with uh, most 3D TVs at home because a lot of the 3D home 3D screens are active shutter, which means they have the rechargeable battery and all that stuff. They're powered glasses. Um, but they are working with a lot of the manufacturers. LG is putting out a passive polarization uh, HD TV here soon, and th this will work with them. They've been working with uh, LG and Samsung and some of the big 3D TV manufacturers to make some uh, passive polarization TV screens available that these will work on. So eventually you'll be able to wear these at both home and the theater if, if you have a 3D TV. Um, right now, not really. I mean, there, there's very few monitors right now and, and TVs right now that actually use passive polarization. So keep that in mind too. Eventually they will. I mean, if you want to look look ahead, um, and these are limited edition, so when they sell out, they're gone, um, which is another factor to consider. But um, but yeah, just just for your average 3D moviegoer, probably not worth the price. Um, I don't I don't regret it. I like them. I've got some sunglass lenses, and I'm going to use them as sunglasses as well. But uh, but just know that like. They they're nice. They they are better than the uh, the theater glasses that you get that they just hand you when you walk in. But I don't know if they're worth necessarily the premium you're paying for them unless unless you're a really big movie buff or intend to use them as as sunglasses. So there you go. There's a look at the uh, Oakley Gas Can 3D uh, Transformers Dark of the Moon Limited Edition uh, 3D frames.